What's up, everybody? All right, today we're looking at the Romna map by Warbosby, and uh, this is the same person that edited the Homakra map that I play on over on uh, you know my series there. And uh, we had looked at this map quite a while back. It's been about three months ago, I think, two or three months. And uh, you can see the video on my YouTube channel if you search back through it. But um, this map is finished, and it's on uh, the different uh, mod sites, I think. I uh, haven't looked to see exactly you know, if it's made it to all the mod sites or anything yet. But uh, I'll put a link in the description below. <coughs> but this is a, uh, a forestry and farming map. Uh, you can see on the, the little PDA down there, uh, there's a biogas plant. There's a, a few selling points. A spinnery, uh, barn, grain mill over on the left hand side is another selling point and some other things over there. So there's lots of stuff to do on this map looks like. And uh, the sawmill is where we're at right now I do believe or maybe it's just across the road there. I haven't even gone over that way. Just purchased my vehicle and hopped in it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's across the road over here. Alright, so there's the sawmill. Come back around this one. Not sure what that is. Looks like there's a, a selling point or something here. Uh, sell wood. Okay, so I guess you can put some wood, uh, let's see, well I guess right over in this area somewhere, I'm not sure, actually let's look, <laughs> yeah I'm not sure where you would put the wood, maybe on the barge itself, yeah, okay, yeah, it must be in here. I'll see a box. All right, so put the wood in there, and then you come back out here to that uh, icon and sell it there. All right, cool. Let's see what else we got. I guess I can't get over there from here. Anyway, I'm guessing the wood chip cell point and maybe another log cell points over here at this other spot. Let's go take a look real quick. Yeah, so I'm guessing, you know, put the logs up there on those uh, racks and you can sell them. And then probably over here on this side is the wood chip cell point. <coughs> This is a pretty cool little wood yard. I'm, I'm impressed that uh, it's it's bigger than the Homakra one. One of my main complaints over there in Homakra was the sawmill is just too small. It's like there's even room here for, you know, a little bit of a placeable, not much, just a small one. All right, um, let's see here. Which way do we want to go? Let me get back out here to some sort of a main road. We'll just drive around a little bit like we normally do and check it out. And uh, War Bosby does have a Discord channel now, and I'll have a link to this description to that. Uh, link in the description below. Alright, so there's a little town over here. You can see lots of houses. There's one under construction. Um, several little storage units, I guess. Looks like there's a gas station over here. Let's go check that out. This is the bus stop. There's, there's the gas station. Yep, start filling, so that works. And 
And it looks like this is a field. Yeah, field number eight is right across there. As you can see, it's already been uh, either planted or cultivated or something. So it's ready to go. And let's look at the, the land here. Okay. So it looks to me like there's a couple of big fields down here. Most of the fields are going to be over here on the east side of the map. I bet all of this over here is forestry. So we'll go check out some of that in just a minute. Um, let's see here. Let's look at, uh, oh, I was also going to look and see what, what was owned. <clears throat> wow. That is an incredible amount of land. <laughs> and I wonder why some are in pieces like that separated. This is, huh. Well, I, I don't know. I guess uh, they just decided that, you know, some of these areas were similar or something and decided to group them. Wow, that is an incredible amount of land. Uh, pieces, pieces of land. Hmm. But, see, I, I don't understand why... When you click on this little piece, these other two, I don't, I don't understand that. Uh, you know, me, I would have made them uh, bigger tracts of land so there's not quite so many. And see, it, it doesn't make any sense to me to own this little piece down here and then own, I don't know, whatever. Um, so anyway, there's, there's, a, <laughs> there's a tremendous amount of little pieces of land, and I don't know, this is going to be nuts trying to... Uh, you know, log this because you got these tiny little tracts of land that are all scattered around like this one. Look, uh, yeah, I, I don't understand that. Don't get it. Anyway, let's uh, keep on driving here. We'll go up this road because this is where the majority of the, the fields were. And we'll check this out. Then we'll dive off into the, the forested area. All right, so it looks like we got some wheat maybe over here on this uh, field number 12. And uh, like, like I was uh, used to over on the Hamakra edit by War Bosby, looks like there's a pretty dense forest, so I like that. And we've got a field of something, I'm not sure. Okay, I do have it in here. Uh, sugar beets. Alright, so that's that. So again, it's a small little field there. And we're not going to go up into everything, but uh, let's look around in here and see what's, what this is. Oops, let's see what this is. It's like a cell point. Uh, it's grain, I bet. I wonder, I guess, I guess this would be the animal dealer, right? And it's got some sort of a chicken icon, but I think this is an animal dealer. Yeah, I think it is. Alright, so there's your animal dealer up there, top, kind of top right of the map. I think this is just another cell point. Let's look at the map and zoom in on this spot here and see what this is. Oh, the spinnery. Okay, spinnery. Yes, yeah, so that was the animal dealer. And that was just a cell point there. Okay, um, let me see if we can get to the forested area from here. I may have to go back and then back around. Let's see. 
Okay, yeah, it looks like this just dead ends right here, so we'll turn around and go back towards town and kind of take the uh, area to the forested spot and look around. Let's see, I'm trying to decide uh, or figure out if this is a 4x map or just a regular size map. Uh, it looks to me, just based on the coordinates that I'm seeing, this is probably a 4x map. Because we're at uh, 3300 over 6 or 700 or so. So I'm thinking that this is a, a 4x map. Well, so far for me, this is running pretty smooth. Of course, I don't have uh, any mods. Uh, well, I got all my mods in the mod folder, which had to load, but I don't have any running except for this truck. And I'm doing pretty good. Uh, well, it's just over 30. It's not, not great, but uh, for my setup on this particular computer, this, this is not my new computer. Um, we're doing pretty good here, I think. I like kind of the tiered, uh, you know, fields there. That's kind of neat. You have to drive down into the field. That's that's pretty cool. All right, so we're starting to get off into the forestry area now. Let's, uh, I don't know. Let's just go this way. This was kind of fun. But you can see that the forest looks pretty well dense. I mean, it's not, you know, super dense, but uh, it's, it's pretty thick in there. And I wonder if these trees have collisions. Nope, sure not. Okay. When you uh, scale down those little trees like that to make the little deco trees, you know, like this right here, these little three, group of three, um, if you turn collisions for them own, I don't think you can cut them even with a chainsaw uh, just because there's sort of a, a limit to where the trees get so small that giants, the game engine or whatever, it's still, you know, you can still back into them and it'll stop your vehicle, but uh, for some reason you can't cut them. And I think there's a limit, you know, as to size or something to where you know, it's it's sort of sees it like as the top of the tree or, or something. I'm not sure. I just won't let you cut it. All right, so let's see how we're doing here. Oh, down in the 20s now. 20 is right about 30. There's a lot of trees in here and, and bushes and stuff, so it uh, it really affects the, uh, the frame rate. But again, in you know War Bosby's style, you've got these little forested roads that, uh, you know, they're not really marked on the map either. That's kind of the cool thing about it. And uh, you just kind of have to know where you're going. <laughs> but yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm Kind of looking forward to others. So, deer stands just about been overtaken by the trees. And in fact, that one uh, has a tree growing through it. Hmm. Oh well. So you've been there a while. But uh, I'm, I'm guessing the rest of the forested area is going to be just about like this. I mean, it's all, it's going to be a lot of trees, pretty thick like this, I bet. So that's probably just the rest of the map. 
Um, let's see here. I think I'm just going to take a shortcut. Let's go on down this way. Meet up with that other road over there, maybe. Yeah, so here's this, uh, well, that's, that's one of them, I guess. I was thinking that there was another road up this way somewhere. Oop. Golly. Come on, flip over. Well, sometimes I can get it to flip over. Sometimes I can't. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so here's this other little road I was looking at up here. <clears throat> or seeing on the map, anyway. Alright, lots of cliff fares. I like all the detail that goes into uh, War Bosby's either edits or, in case, this case, I think this is a made from scratch map. See, all, all those, those cliff sides and stuff add to the detail. Uh, I like, I really like that. And uh, these small trees that are, uh, well, not anywhere here, but, but those small trees I was running through earlier that have no collision on them. Some people don't like that. Um, I kind of like it just for the fact that it adds a touch of realism to have the, the smaller trees on here. Adds a lot of detail. Even though you can't cut them, which I don't really understand why everybody's so worried about not being able to cut them. Uh, you wouldn't cut those little small trees anyway, unless you were you know, trying to clear them out for a road or a landing or something. But when used in the right spots, I think those little small trees add a lot of detail to the map that's really cool. Alright, so we're just going to real quickly uh, run down over to, uh, let's head over to this, uh, let's see, where am I at here? Let's go back through town and we'll go down to the biogas plant and look at that real quick and then we'll head over to the uh, selling point number six, look at that area, and then uh, we're going to head up to the selling point number four and we'll wrap it up kind of up there. Yeah, this is a big map. I'm thinking this is definitely definitely a uh, 4X map. And I uh, apologize for my crazy driving here. Uh, I've I bought this little USB switcher. Uh, I've got three computers that I, at this desk that I use. Uh, my work computer is one of them, and the personal computer I'm using to record this at the moment is another one. And then I've got a uh, my new computer, and so I bought this little uh, four-way switcher so I could hook up to four computers at the same time and use the same keyboard and mouse and for some reason, I don't know, it's, I've got everything set up correctly I think, but for some reason the the mouse and keyboard will just randomly disconnect and reconnect so I need to look into that and see what's going on but it, it causes the game to briefly freeze <laughs> which is annoying <coughs> So there it goes again, but I was driving in a straight line this time. Maybe I need to update some drivers or, or something. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, we got something over here. What's all this stuff? Uh, wow, there's a bunch of stuff on the map there. Let's go look and see what this is. I haven't looked over here yet, I don't think. Oh, okay, so he gave you a bunch of stuff to, like, tractors and combines. Okay, that's pretty cool. You don't have to buy all the stuff. It's already got a lot there for you to use. Or if you just want to do the forestry stuff, you can sell all that and have you some more money to play with. Let's see. I guess it was this road here we were on. Let's go back up here. And the little forest road there. Let's see, was this the biogas plant or no? Yep, sure was. Okay, so here's the biogas plant. Uh, 
course you got your silos for putting making silage and then you dump it in there and sell it I think it's been a while since I've done that and let me see here let's uh, pull up the map I don't think there's gonna be a road unless it's a forest road that cuts across so let me look here. Here's something. Yeah, let's go down this way. Um, sure, let's go this one. I'm trying to cut across to get over to the uh, other side of the map. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. I really like these uh, rough forest roads. They're a pain, pain to... Uh, <laughs> Uh, put on a map because it takes forever and you got to get the terrain adjusted just right. And they're kind of a pain to drive on because they're so bumpy, but uh, it's fun. You know, it's, I like it. So I can I can definitely tell a lot of work went into this map. But again, I guess the only complaint I have about this map is just the, the tiny little lands pieces. I mean, there's so many of them, and they're all, well, some of them are, are disconnected. Like, you've got one little piece on one side of the map, another little piece on the other side of the map. I, I don't understand that, really. I'm not sure what the, the thinking, wait, did we make a, we just made a loop. Um, okay, well, let's, uh, maybe I should have took the, the left turn at Albuquerque, not the right turn. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to cut off through the woods here. We just make a beeline over there. I uh, might have taken a bad, bad spot here. It's like we're headed up the side of a mountain. Um, just close your eyes for a second. Okay, it's, it's safe to open them now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just cutting cross country to get over to the other side of the map and looking around. There, there's some kind of forest road there we just jumped over. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I'm probably going to be starting a series on this map here pretty soon. Um, and most likely what I'll do is uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe try to put a, a few finishing touches on the whole Mocker map and uh, in that series and then we'll start another series maybe with this map because this looks like a lot of fun. It looks kind of like to me a uh, whole Mocker times two. <laughs> it's just the, all the forest roads and I, I'm pretty sure it's, this is a 4x map just based on the numbers that I see because uh, I believe with a regular size map, see we're already over uh, 2660 by 3300, so yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a 4x map. Which, if it, uh, you know, it, it, it is, so I mean, it's, it's impressive that this much detail has gone into it, and uh, with this size map, it's, 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 I know for a fact it's tough to. Uh, Get this much detail and put this much work into a map this big. Okay, let's see here. We're back on the right road, so let's go on up here to cell point number six, and then we'll uh, head on up to the top left of the map, check it out real quick, and then that'll be it for the video. While we're driving up there, I, I do want to say I hope everybody is staying healthy and uh, hope nobody has that. Uh, coronavirus stuff. I am pretty much staying secluded in my house. I uh, haven't really gone anywhere since, um, let's see, did I go anywhere Sunday? I know I went to the grocery store on Saturday. I don't think I went anywhere Sunday. And then today I got out and uh, I did have to go pick up some medication and uh, I went uh, through a, a 
restaurant drive through and got me some food so I did get out a little bit today but I didn't leave the vehicle <laughs> it's been awfully strange I tell you well maybe not for me because I'm I work from home and um, my wife and I we really don't get out and do all that much anyway so it really hasn't changed much for me except for being able to go inside restaurants and sit down and have a meal you know that's kind of been kind of strange it's it's always weird to pull up to a restaurant drive through and see the inside of the building empty and just strange but a plus side was when I went to pick up the food today at lunch uh, it was piping hot when I got back to the house because <laughs> there was you know there was nobody else in there ordering it was just a drive through so everything was fresh <laughs> Nice fresh food. Alright, we've had some kind of disaster here. But uh, yeah, on a serious note, you know, y'all stay healthy, uh, stay at the house if you don't have to get out and work. If you do have to get out and work, you know, stay away from people as much as you can and uh, make sure you're washing your hands or using, you know, proper hand sanitizer. Uh, here in Louisiana, it's, it's rough because. I don't think anybody was taking it very seriously, even though the governor was talking about staying at home and you know staying away from people and all that stuff. They were still just getting out and about like normal life, and I'm still amazed at all the uh, reports I'm seeing on TV of these younger, mostly younger people that are getting out playing basketball all together and uh, crowding the beaches and stuff. I mean, this is ridiculous. You know, you don't need to be at home, not spreading this junk around. Uh, I just saw something the other day where uh, all those spring breakers down there in Florida that were uh, you know partying it up and having a good time, several of them have tested positive now, so they've have probably sped it around a bunch of other people. It's just nuts. People here in the United States don't take anything serious. My wife works for a, a health care clinic and uh, if just listen to her talk for a little while and you, I think you'll change your tune about everything that's going on so please take it seriously let's get this mess wrapped up and I'm hoping they find a vaccine or medicines that will you know help this thing get it get it out of here very quickly so we can get back to normal life Well, this is, yeah, this is definitely a 4X map because it is taking a long time to drive up here. So that's pretty cool. Kind of looks like a, a spot that's already been logged. Alright, here we are finally at this, uh, I, I guess this is uh, a Cecil Lime station, but I guess this is just. Uh, Maybe another cell point or something around here. <laughs> that building has been scaled up, you can tell. Look how big the doors are. <laughs> oh. oh well, it looks cool though. Yeah, so there's a cell point right there. Alright, so I think I saw a gas station and another cell point up here so let's go look at that and that's gonna be pretty much it for this video uh, I don't really think there's much else to show other than lots and lots of forested areas which is gonna be really fun and uh, before I wrap the video up I do want to mention uh, I put a poll up on my YouTube channel and just made a uh, post there about uh, whether you would like to see um, you finish Ransom Ridge logging or start a new either standard size or 4x size logging map with basically no roads at all on it and uh, the vote came back to finish Ransom Ridge and I guess that's kind of a good thing because uh, I don't like much on it I'm like maybe 85 percent or so finished with it so it won't take me long to finish that up so I'll try to work on that uh, here in the next uh, few weeks or so and try to get that put out and then maybe after that I can 
do a uh, a logging map that has basically no roads. Uh, I might not even put a sawmill on there. Probably just uh, room, you know, for placeables and stuff. All right, so there's another cell point there. I guess that back there. Not sure what that was. Some kind of cell point. I'd have to look at the map a little closer. But anyway, if you like this this map, and it looks really cool to me, uh, lots of forestry, lots of farming, um, go, you can go check it out at um, the, uh, I'll have the links below, you can download it and, and play on it yourself. Uh, this is for PC only, as far as I know, uh, well, yeah, a 4, 4X map won't work on console anyway, so PC only, and uh, that's... That's pretty much it. I'm just going to drive around here a little bit longer myself and check it out. But uh, until then, until next time, you'll have a good one. Stay coronavirus free. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.